This is my new 2020 Supra and we are gonna turn it into this. Launch edition, this car is number 1,030 out of 1,500. This car is such a great find because it has 5,000 miles. It's been ceramic coated three different times. PPF on the front of it, not a single rock chip. And as a lot of the previous series go on this channel, if I do end up selling the car, if it's just absolutely mint, you watch every single episode of this series and you're in the market for one of these cars and you like the way I style them, there's just no reason you're not gonna want this car. I give you zero reasons. So that's kind of why I've started to go on the nicer end of cars and spend a little bit more money up front to make it easier to sell at the end. Because these cars are driver's cars and a lot of them, when I'm shopping around, especially for this one, they're very well driven and I'm happy about that, that everyone's doing that. But I'm making some decisions in this series and the reason I'm going about some of the styling is so that it can be driven extremely hard and you don't really have to worry about it too much and you just get the best of both worlds. That's my goal is you can drive this thing and it'd be a driver's car, but you can also take it to any show and just whip around a car that's just in absolute mint condition all the time. We'll get into that more later for future episodes and I'm really excited about everything about this car, the finish, and why we were making certain decisions. It's gonna be awesome. Take a seat with me for a second. We have something new that we need to go over. I've been thinking really deep. I'm a psychological freak. I love psychology and I've been thinking deep. What makes me, me, so that we can take things to the next level so I can build my dream compound one day and invite people like you on the other side of the screen? Because that's what I would do with all the money in the world. I'd build a compound and invite people out and have a good time, have every freaking type of track. Will it come true? I'm gonna work every day towards it till I'm dead. So help me bring that to reality sooner because I'm just, it's just gonna be better for everyone. But as I was thinking, how do I take things to the next level? How do I make things for you better on the other screen? I was thinking, gosh, dang. The payoff is so far away. And I get so fired up because I realized people uh, tend to rally around my cars that I build at the end because it's done, it's cool. You get to see my vision in reality. And I was like, that's a flaw. I should be spending time and money and resources to figure out how do I get what's up here on the screen for you up front so we have something to work towards because that's the most valuable thing I can bring to the table is what's up here. I got the next five cars planned down in my head if I had like no budget, we had all the resources. I know that that that's there and it's something I get so fired up about, but gosh dang. 3D artists are not cheap and to make animations and turn them into videos is even more crazy expensive thousands thousand dollars so I need your help to make this successful so I can invest in all that to make these crazy satisfying car builds with content and YouTube and we can have all kinds of stuff around it but I, I know you'll like it because it's cool it's fresh especially for this channel and I feel like I'm kind of giving away something by showing you everything where we're going but until it's real it's not real we want to see you can you get it done and some things just look better in reality so that's the exciting part too and when you feel sound waves versus looking at like what it may look like or what it may sound like and then you feel the shock wave from the exhaust at you in the chest you're like Whoa! that's the thing that just keeps me going and motivated now that you understand that i hired an insanely talented artist to build out the render of the super and everything it's going to look like and we're going to tap into each detail of it throughout this series so make sure you hit the subscribe button press the like button hit the notification so you don't miss an episode ever we might have some bonus ones in between to test out some parts that maybe are not on this plan which i'm excited about because it just have some variants and have some more fun with the super it's a Toyota Supra, as many parts as we can try and think and see what it sounds like versus the other one. I'm about it, but we're gonna stick to the plan and at least bring this render to reality. Episode one of the Toyota Supra Render to Reality series is go and finding the most perfect Supra that is gonna be so cherry. I don't even want to start with a rock chip. I had to go find a special one. 5,000 miles, ceramic coated multiple times, PPF, completely bone stock. This thing is sweet. Let's go get it. All right, I'll see you later. Thank you. After we land, if your tablet has any remaining 
This is bucket list in so many ways. Today is a new car day. We just landed in LA, editor Justin and I, he's filming this right now. The car is bucket list. I don't even feel like this is real. Justin can throw a little clip of me when I started my channel. I'm, just, I'm the same person on the inside. So, this is weird. We're gonna hit ACH, Angeles Crest Highway, that they do all the famous car reviewers they go on. We'll get to experience that. I wanna do donuts there specifically, so look forward to that. I wanna formally introduce you to my friends really quick. Like, this is Eric with his M2. Eric and I met over Instagram and he actually took my really bad Karma Speed logo and turned it into something that I actually had in my head but I just didn't know how to explain. We worked really hard a long time over FaceTime to create the logo and became good friends through it. Eric is a concept artist and now he is working with Dr. Disrespect to create a video game that they're working on together. I'll have Eric's Instagram linked down in the description. You can go see some crazy artwork that Eric does. It doesn't even like make sense to me sometimes. So go check that out. In the Focus ST is Jacob. Jacob actually has a YouTube channel and he reminds me of myself at 18, just genuine energy around cars, just trying to be the best guy that he can, learn as much as he can, share what he's learning, go have fun with his dad, super good vibes, and was the first person to pop in the Karma Speed community platform that I could talk to, get to know over it, turn in, turn from a couple direct messages to video call, talking about YouTube, bouncing ideas back and forth, and really started to help me get the word out. And we wanna formally invite you to join the Karma Speed community platform. You have an app on your phone, you can go to the website version, you have a feed. So if you don't normally post about stuff online, it's a place where it's only car guys. If you wanna ask a question, and more importantly, if you wanna just join to be available to answer questions for other guys that are just like us, working on cars, trying to figure it out, that would be super beneficial. And on behalf of the Karma Speed team, this is our way of wanting to give back to the community by connecting everyone easier through a platform. You can sort by area code. It'll tell you who's around you. You might meet your next best car friend through it. I met these two guys through the internet. I know you can meet people through the internet and it made my entire day of getting a new car completely an amazing time versus something that would have just been very linear process if it wasn't for Eric and Jacob given Justin and I such a fun day. So invitation link is in the description. There's no cost. Join the Karma Speed community help us help each other and help us work towards spending more time enjoying cars than struggling because that's never fun. This thing is mid. What's up boys? It's a super <laughs> day. I got you a walkie talkie. No way. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> If you don't have these walkie-talkies with your boys cruising, you need them. Game changer for me, I just randomly thought to buy. Found out it's not as uncommon as I thought, but absolutely necessary. Link in the description to these cheap walkie-talkies that actually work really good. Make sure you buy enough for all your boys. Have them around and it changes the way you cruise. You need these. Getting our radios dialed. There we go, put our post behind us. Careful. <laughs> I don't know if you guys watched the video when we bought the RS. If you look behind us, I bought a French yeah. radar, <laughs> 400 bucks. I bought the one with the furthest range of any review on YouTube. <laughs> Let's take a moment of silence. We did it. <laughs> oh, that B50? That B58? This thing's brand new, you see this? Sheesh! <laughs> what? We're all ready to go. We got the new radar up, we got the GoPros. We're hitting Angeles Crest Highway for the first time, so this is exciting in the Supra. We're feeling more comfortable in the car. It's definitely like a little, I feel out of my element. I, have, I haven't really had a car this nice, and roads, I don't really know, and it does make you a little nervous, but this car is just gripping already. But Jacob's just pushing the focus as hard as he can. Yeah. The rear ends with this. Eric's on it too. 
Nice driving. Thank you. That was fun. <laughs> That's pretty much my limit as far as corners and stuff. Uh, any faster than that, I'm like, mm, it's not worth it. That's a so this is what it looks like. So do some donuts for the boys or what? Yeah. That's the easiest donut I've ever done. That'll spook you. You see some water coming out. This was leaking water while doing some donuts. She's good. She's good. Time for some editor seat time. Oh yeah. Much deserved. First time driving an M2. Thank you, Eric. most raw but luxury manual I've ever driven. So fun. I love the engine in this thing. The engine in this thing is what's up. 7,500 RPM. I didn't even get it close really the whole time. Dude, it starts to pull like 4,500. It's That's just like, it opens up. Yeah. This thing spoils you. You want to drive the Supra and I'll hop in with you? Sure. I sent uh, Eric this M Karma Speed jet tag before he got his first M car, so he had it already. <laughs> Jacob and Parker would be absolute best friends. Full sand or no sand. We got a grip of LA traffic. There's only one thing to do. We're going manual, sport mode, windows down. Time to be degenerates. The restaurant in Fast and Furious. What's that supposed to mean? That's what I mean. What does that mean, like me? Don't Eric, have you been here? Of course, yeah. Thousands of times. Thousands of times. You been here? I've never been over here. Dude, the drink selection here is insane. Oh, dude, they got everything. Yeah, literally. Good, how you doing? Yeah. This is the berry. 
tastes like what you think it would. That was pretty good. What do you think, Jacob? Really good. It's like fair food on the side of the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. There's no beach. The beach is there. This view is pretty rad. Sad Focus ST owner. <laughs> when you get gapped by everything. Justin and I are crying. Can we get a confirmation that you are right? Yeah, I'm good. Homie just peed in a cup <laughs> while driving manual in LA stop and go traffic. <laughs> it only got a couple dribbles on his hand. It's so impressive. I'm waiting for you to pull up so I can show you. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. oh no, not the peacock, bro. He really did it. Homie driving manual, peed in a cup, bro. He needs to pour it out. Did the liquid level get high enough to where you're. you're a <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Oh, man. <laughs> Sir, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a window tinner. <laughs> it's gonna be a subtle change. Yeah. Like when you see the whole car done, it'll still have all the body lines that it has. It's just gonna be more of a, a subtle finish, you yeah. know. I guess the best way to look at it is like a, a stealth bomber. Really? That's kind of how it's gonna look. No, I'm really excited. I think it's gonna look sweet. You can see the metallic through it. Dude, it's gonna look so even better than I thought. I'm aware that the word ultimate is a very strong word, but I say that in the most relatable way because you can get so much out of this car and it has so much to offer behind the wheel, wrenching on it, looking at it, owning it in the corners in a straight line. This car has so much to offer that I believe in just this first phase of bringing this render to reality that this would be the ultimate car for a lot of people out there to live in automotive car life lifestyle without even having to reach for the moon and invest a hundred thousand plus dollars into a car and do all kinds of crazy custom this would be like your ultimate sports car for a lot of you and i want to show you that through this series so for anyone out there who's thinking about a super you'll know by the end of this is that the right one for me or should i wait around for the next car and figure out is there a better option because it's not for everyone but i have to say this car is great for a lot of people and we're gonna get into that as the series progresses and all my opinions on driving it because it's one of my favorite vehicles and it has unique things about it that i'm really excited to talk about and share what i'm learning about it you see the vision We've got work to do. The car's in the Karma Speed Garage. We'll see you over on this video here so we can get to work.